Welcome to part 13 of the series on business process automation. Now that we know how to simulate our business process, we look at improving it. Of course, there are a million ways how to improve a business process. You can eliminate unnecessary steps or transform a sequential order into a parallel order, etc. etc. In this video, we'll look more closely at our hairdressing salon using the simulation of our last video. In our last video, we found out that the main bottleneck was probably at the till when the customer wanted to pay. We would like to investigate further and look in more detail at what happened during simulation. Fortunately, Wopet can export the logs that result from the simulation to XES, the standard format for process mining. Therefore, we are able to see an animated version of our hairdressing salon in the process mining tool PROM. Of course, you could use any other process mining tool that can read XES files like Disco or Celonis. I put links to my process mining videos in the description below. Now let's look at the animation in PROM. Behind me you can see the process model that PROM has derived from the log that was output by WOPED. The numbers are the number of customers that went through a certain path. Each yellow bead represents a customer. When beads are moving slowly before a task, this means that customers are either being serviced in the task or are waiting for it to begin. In the case of the task cut hair, there are 20 minutes of service time included. However, in the case of the task pay, nearly all of it is waiting time because the service time is only 2 minutes. So let's see what happens if we put Bruce at the till. Sorry Bruce. We change the role of task pay from hairdresser to owner. We already have Bruce with the owner role in our WOPED file. If we do the quantitative simulation with our changed model, we can see that the average waiting time before pay has nearly vanished. Bruce is now nearly 30% busy cashing money. Let's verify it again using the animation in PROM. You can now see that the only beads that move slowly after the task cut hair are the ones that go to color hair. Those that go directly to pay are moving out very quickly. So we have successfully eliminated the worst bottleneck in our business process using a combination of business process simulation and process mining. I hope you found this useful. I'm looking forward to your comments and questions.